In this video cheat sheet, we're going to be configuring an MPLS traffic engineer tunnel. We're going to start off with uh, some baseline show commands of show MPLS traffic engineering tunnels, show IP OSPF neighbor, and show IP route for the specific 3.3.3.3 uh, .3 or the router 3's loopback address. Then we're going to enable a debug command of debug MPLS traffic engineering tunnel event so that we can see uh, things unfold as we configure an MPLS traffic engineer tunnel. And then we're going to finish up with some verification show commands of show MPLS traffic engineer tunnels, the show IP OSPF neighbor, and the show IP route 3.3.3.3. .3 so let's take a look at the network topology. We have prepared OSPF area 0 in the last video cheat sheet to support MPLS traffic engineer tunnels and so now we're going to build a traffic engineer tunnel from 2 to 3 going through router 4. So the tunnel will go this way 2, 4 to 3. So let's get started. Let's start off with uh, our three show commands that we talked about. And as you can see uh, we don't have any tunnels yet because we haven't configured them. The show IP OSPF neighbor will come into play later where we have peers to 4 and 3 out these two Ethernet interfaces and the show IP route to router 3's loopback address is to the interface that goes over to router 3. So let's turn on the debug MPLS traffic engineer tunnel events so that we can watch things unfold as we configure MPLS traffic engineer tunnels. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create an explicit path. This is almost a static path, if you will, that's going to go from R2 to R4 to R3, and so that's what I've named it. So the first step, or the first address, is the R4 address that connects to router 2, or the interface that connects to router 2. So let me bring this back up. We're going to configure this interface as the first step, this interface is the next step, and then the loopback interface as the last step so that we ensure that it, the, the tunnel will go this way. So that's what these commands right here do. So let's go ahead and, and get, that put, get that put in the router. All right, so we got that built. That's our static path. Well, now we're going to build a tunnel interface from router 2 to router 3. And this is a one-way tunnel. This is not a bidirectional tunnel. So this will just affect how traffic gets from 2 to 3. We're going to do an unnumbered interface to loopback 0. We're going to tell it that the destination address is router 3's loopback address. The mode of the tunnel is MPLS traffic engineering. Earlier, we, in the previous video cheat sheet, we set up an RSVP bandwidth for tunnels um, to 5 meg, and this particular tunnel is going to take 2 megs worth of that bandwidth. And then this tunnel is going to reference the, the very first path option. It's going to reference this explicit path that we have already nailed up. You can also reference a dynamic path where it decides the best way to go via the routing protocol, but that wouldn't change anything from what we're seeing right now. So that's what these commands do. In the configuration guide, we'll go into more detail on these commands. So that, as that's being copied and pasted in, we will then do the show MPLS traffic engineer tunnels. And there's some information from our debug output. And so our tunnel just changed to up. So now there's a, we didn't have any information before, and now we do for our traffic engineer tunnel. Real quick, the administrative it is up, it's operationally up, and the path is valid. And so uh, it says the source is 2 and the destination is 3, and it actually shows you the explicit path that we configured earlier. So let's do a show IP OSPF neighbor and a show IP route real quick. We don't have a new neighbor across this tunnel interface because we haven't set it up for OSPF, but if you, if you notice, instead of the show IP route going across over the interface to router 3, it now prefers the tunnel interface, and that's thanks to this auto route announce command where the interface isn't, isn't in OSPF, but it's treated as if it is.